Hey everyone, Crazy Hunt Guy here, and welcome back to another Godzilla figure review. And today we are reviewing none other than Bandai Creation Godzilla 2005. So without any further ado, let's take a look at this bad boy. Okay, so here you have Godzilla 2005 by Bandai Creation. <clears throat> so, what is Bandai Creation, you may ask? Well, it's the American branch of Bandai. It's the company that produces toys here in America and sort of bases their, and as far as Godzilla figures go, they sort of base their designs partially on whatever Bandai Japan makes. So shortly after uh, Bandai Japan came out with their Godzilla 2005, <clears throat> Bandai Creation came out with their version of it. And uh, well, let's just see how he st holds up here. First of all, with uh, paint job. Well, paint job is pretty much uh, the same as far as uh, uh, highlights and, th and everything is a uh, concern. You got white <coughs> spines here, and basically that's just it. Uh, it's about the same as the J Japanese version. Um, it just looks a bit sloppier because it's notice on here it just sort of sprayed onto his back as well, like back there, <coughs> and just doesn't seem to be as taken, you know put as much thought into it as uh, had the Japanese version done. And up here you can see that they just went on there and they said, ah, it's paint, it's, who cares. So yeah, and also the, I don't really like the uh, color of the claws and toes on this one as much. It's more of a tan sort of color, which is kind of odd. But uh, I don't know, I just like the other one better. It looks more monstery, Godzilla-y looking. Um, and also in the eyes, you also have basically the same looking sort of eyes, except uh, if you look at him straight on, he looks a little googly-eyed. And um, and there you got his red tongue, which is a nice, nice tongue. Looks like a good tongue. But uh, yeah, so there you have paint jobs. Now as far as uh, detail goes, well, detail-wise, this guy, um, he's not as bad as you may think. Um, where he kind of falls down flat on his face as far as paint job goes, he makes up for it pretty well with uh, um, detail. So let's take a look here. Uh, so looking at the face, you can see it's a fairly good Godzilla face. Definitely movie accurate, I'd say. The spines on the head, however, are a bit little sort of chunky, whereas the Japanese version is a bit more fine, finely, uh, finely t done. And the same goes for the spines. They just don't look as carefully molded as the Japanese version does. Um, as far as skin, though, it uh, looks pretty good. Just bigger scales. And uh, on the front chest here as well, it's just uh, bigger scales. So, yeah, uh, detail is okay. It's, it's actually pretty good, especially for an American-made um, figure. So, I'd say it's pretty good. Now, um, articulation-wise, as far as articulation goes, uh, let's just zoom out here. Well, as you can see, he can move his head like so. His arms are kind of in a different sort of position. It's like they go from down and out, like like this. I don't know how that goes, just like that. And then his legs also move. And his tail also is articulated, so that's pretty good. Now, um, comparison. Well, uh, compared to the uh, six-inch version, the movie monster series version, Japanese version, um, he is a bit bigger. Actually, yeah, quite a bit. You can see just here by looking that <clears throat> he's taller and longer just by a bit. He's also, if you'll notice, in sort of a different sort of uh, pose, whereas this guy's just sort of standing there going, duh, what's going on? This guy's like, huzzah, you know? So it's a cooler pose, I'd say, but Godzilla doesn't really do this much in the movie. He does more of this, just standing up, staring, going, duh. So, I don't know. And then you got uh, the big guy, the standard version uh, from Japan. And, uh, just can't really get him in here. As you can see, obviously, he is much bigger than this guy, actually, quite a bit. Um, and, like, he's, the, uh, like with the smaller one, he's the same, uh, pose as the smaller one. 
and he's just standing there, and this guy's kind of in a cooler action he pose. So, yeah, the Godzilla 2005 family is appears to be growing quite a bit. So, um, which one of these would I recommend the most? Well, of course I'd recommend this one, this big guy here, but of course, but he's a bit more expensive. Between these two smaller ones, which is what Bandai Creation was probably trying to uh, attempting to imitate. I would probably say, you know, I mean, you can get this guy at the store, so if you're just looking for a good representation of Godzilla 2005, I'd say it's this one, um, as far as cheap cheapness goes, but this one you can also get on the internet for not a whole lot of money either. Of course, I'm going to go with the Japanese version, just because the paint apps is a lot better, and the detail is just a lot more finer and a lot, a lot more uh, well thought out. Now, I'm not saying that this one's bad. He's good, but uh, it's just not as good as this one. So I gotta go with the uh, little guy here. But any one of them are fine. They're all three really good figures. I'm definitely surprised at how much I like the uh, Bandai Creation version as well. So anyway, that's the verdict. So what should you do? You should go out and buy this Godzilla as soon as you possibly can. Find him at Toys R Us, maybe even at uh, Walgreens, maybe, I don't know. This particular one may not be in stores anymore, it was from Wave 3, but they've re-released it for some reason, so you can maybe find him at Toys R Us again, I don't know. But anyway, go out and get this guy, he's cool. I mean, why wouldn't you want him? Look at him, he's really neat. He really is. Anyway, I'm Creature Hunt Guy, this is Godzilla 2005, coming down to you from Monster Island, and I'll see you next time.